But one of our customers called Grin and Beam down in the Dallas area, uh, they have a, a sort of kiosk set up at a, a shopping mall down there. So I'm going to play a video sort of showing how the, um, the scan process works. First, we're going to go to register. You're going to put your first, last name, email, date of birth, phone number, zip code, and then accept the terms of use with the privacy policy. That's it. All right. So first, we're going to step in the booth and you're going to grab a pre pasted toothbrush. Brush your teeth, and you can also use the sink and wet the toothbrush. Okay. And then rinse your mouth out and whenever you're ready. Step in. sure that this is facing down and that these are facing you. And you're going to stick it in their mouth. Put it in it. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. And then it's going to snap it and then show it how it looks. So it's going to, it should look like this. And the magnet's facing you. And then you click on. Okay, so that's the um, the process of uh, of act actually capturing the uh, capturing the scan there. Um, there's basically the, there's two main ways that our, our current customers are using the technology um, in clinic and and there's lead generation out of the clinic. So in clinic, the obviously the the benefit and the reason why they're using it is to start conversations with patients about orthodontics and other observations. So you know again. We come from orthodontic backgrounds and that's kind of the focus of, of creating the, the technology, but we've some, seen some really creative things with this, you know, using it to start conversations about hygiene and, and sort of promote electric toothbrushes and, and all sorts of things. So it does sort of facilitate whatever sort of conversation that you do want your team to be having with patients. Um, the other thing is that it, it sort of standardizes processes and conversations. So we have people that have created scripting that sort of fits in with, with how things are being presented. Um, you know, practices with multiple locations where the doctor might not be there on certain days, uh, especially bigger group practices, you know, really gives them the confidence that whenever, you know, patients show up with certain observations, we know that the team's going to be having these, these conversations that we want them to have. Um, and finally, you know, as Amanda said at the beginning, collaboration with, with specialists. So, um, you know, the software has the ability for when you take a scan for that to link in with a specialist that you work with, say, you know, Amanda, um, and then, you know, that allows, uh, it'll, it'll give instant feedback on things like case suitability and um, informed consent and things to be aware of, which I'll sort of demonstrate in a second. 
but it also gives your clinical partner the ability to log in and view the photos and, and give you some direct feedback on the case um, as well. Um, and then as, as sort of, uh, you know, Amanda said as well, we are part of the dental monitoring group. So if the patient is suitable and does go into treatment, we then have a way of, um, of you and your clinical partner being able to monitor that patient directly. So rather than, uh, you know, just sort of getting a, a sort of clean check set up and having to send photos manually during treatment, uh, it really creates this systemized virtual clinic where uh, you can have the confidence that you have the oversight of, of your clinical partner through, throughout the whole patient, patient journey. Uh, for, from a lead generation perspective, uh, we have a bunch of different um, people using in different ways, as I'll, I'll show you in a minute. So we have Grin and Beam, they're a separate company who their whole business model is on basically having these conversations with, um, with people in the public and then referring them into, uh, into dental providers and the network of providers. Uh, we have clinics themselves that are, are running those programs themselves, so setting up at community events and, uh, and shopping centres and things like that. Uh, and finally, we're in the process of building a website integration, which we're super excited about. And again, the idea is that, you know, patients are looking for that instant answer to their question. So, you know, with existing, uh, you know, virtual consultations, you have to rely on reviewing the photos and communicating back with the patient. Well, with, you know, with SmileMate, you can set that up so the patient uploads photos through your website um, without the need of cheek retractors or the scan box or any of that. Uh, we can then generate this report and tell them what they're suitable for um, and send that to them within sort of five minutes and really start that relationship or that communication with the patient, you know, instantaneously to then allow your, you know, your team to manually come in and, and start, you know, continue building that relationship with the goal of, of getting them in for their appointment. 